Hey guys, and uh, welcome back. So today, I don't know if those of you that watched my last Defender video, I mentioned at the end of it about having a new roof tent fitted. So after I did a bit of research and searching for some new roof racks to accommodate for the roof tent, we have come up with the Flat Dog roof rack, which is this one just here. And in the brown box as well over there, I've got the ladder to go with it too. Now, unfortunately, the Expedition roof rack I've got fitted at the moment won't accommodate four roof tents. That's why we've had to go and get a new uh, roof rack to do that. But we're going to do that today. So I'm just going to, in a moment, luckily, they're really easy to get off. It's literally a couple of bolts, self-tapping bolts in there. So I'm going to unscrew those in a moment and get that one off. Me and my dad are going to do that. And I've also got to do the alternator as well today, if I've got time and a few other little bits whilst I'm at it as well, I'm going to just sort of change and fit. So yeah, I'm just going to crack on with those and just start getting the Expedition roof rack off now so that I can then start fitting the new roof rack. So I just have to undo these bolts here. So literally two, so eight of those in total, four all the way down. Don't know how tight these are on, but we'll soon find out. Okay, they're not good. We can do this eight times over. Well, 16, I guess, by the time we do both sides. And I should probably have a little bucket or something to put these bolts in, but I'll just chuck them on the bonnet for now. Shouldn't be too hard, I shouldn't lose them. Yeah, we'll deep work on that. This one. And a washer. Okay, then. So we've got the roof rack off and yeah, it really looks really bald without a roof rack fitted now. It looks odd. I'm so used to it with having something fitted. Um, so now I'm just going to quickly give the roof a bit of a quick clean up before we put the new roof rack on and I'm just going to double check all the mounting points and all the clamps are there for the flat dog roof rack before we fit it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to crack on and do that now I guess. Just letting the roof dry on the Defender. So whilst we're doing that, I'm just gonna run you through the actual roof rack itself. So this is a flat dog roof rack. Um, when looking, a lot of the other roof racks are available with 2.3 meters by 1.4, and this is a two meter by 1.4. So the 2.3 meters obviously would just be too long. Not say it wouldn't fit, it would, but you'd have uh, just an overhang to the front or the back of the car. And we didn't really want an overhang, just want it looking nice and tidy in line with the actual roof itself. So Flat Dog, uh, so at the time with any company we could really find that provided the two meter. Uh, it's actually an aluminium roof, I believe. Sorry, aluminium roof rack. I believe they are made in house as well. And it was freshly powder coated before it was sent out to us. So it's got a bit of a wind deflector on here as well. So this is actually the underside and then the actual top part has got a little ridge on it as well so that the roof tent can fit on there but it seems pretty sturdy it's I mean it's yeah, pretty sturdy yeah and they've got a little plaque on the top there for your flat dog roof rack but yeah hopefully a little bit longer well not too much longer and then we can put the roof rack on once the roof is dried but it's a nice sunny day today so it's a good December day to be doing car parts you know Okay, so we've got our flat dog box here as well. I haven't actually opened the box yet, and in here should be the ladder to go on the back and all the fitments of the clamps in here. I haven't actually checked it yet, so I'm hoping everything is actually in here. So what's that part? Can I tell you? 
I'll look at the note and pull it apart. More bits, I'm assuming these are fixtures. We've got the actual ladder itself. Yeah, I'll, I'll wrap that in a moment. Well, see me there with all the clamps going. Oh, and then we've got all the clamps and bolts. Yeah, we've got all of our nicely new clamps and bolts all in here. So we're going to unpackage all of these, and the roof should be dry by now, so we can start cracking on and getting this all fitted up. Pretty simple, it's not rocket science, it's just a case of literally fitting the bolts in with your washers, one bolt, two bolt, and then you've got a slide, there's a little gap actually, I'll lift it up. Let the camera up so I can sort of show you. So you've got little bolts here, so assuming that it would be more helpful if I'd actually bolted these in, but I haven't that down for a second so essentially the bolt with the it's gonna go in here and then that's all gonna slide up so this is the underside and it's gonna sit all the way along and all the way down so I'm just gonna start assembling this all out now so all the roof roof arms fitted now um, so what we're gonna have to do is they're all loose at the moment so we've got one two three on each side and they're all loose at the moment. What we're going to have to do is lift the roof rack onto the roof first and then we can slide these into position. So slide those into position and then we can fit the clamps and clamp it all onto the side. So that's the next job for us to do and get that lifted up onto the roof so we can do that. Lift it a little bit. Push more to the back. Thing is, you're going to be climbing up. Only got that to go. Yeah, at least I'm going to catch you. Right, it's going to show you just whilst we're up here. Trying to dent the bonnet. So that is. So that's all fitted on now. So as you can see, the arms actually just sit in the gutters just here. So we're going to get a clamp now and just clamp that in. Uh, I'm probably going to pull though those arms out right to the lip though of the gutter and just start clamping those in. Uh, so we've got uh, an Allen key that fits in here. So I put the clamp through, it's got a little bit of just sticky foam underneath just to protect the paintwork on the actual clamp. And I've just put the clamp through. It's got a little bolt in here with an Allen key adjuster that tightens the thread up. 
and then we've also got a bolt over the top of the washer just to stop the bolt the clamp from dropping back through so i'm just gonna have to tighten both of those up now together what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna actually put the tighten the clamp sorry the bolt top bolt up first main thing to do so actually when I'm tightening the top bolt up um, just to clamp it together what's happening is, is that the bolt is twisting this and it's sliding outward so I'm just going to tighten up this one first a little bit more just to keep the clamp underneath under the ridge little ratchet here There we have one clamp fitted. Just got to do the last five now. Yeah, I haven't got around to fitting the ladder but I've uh, just got to move the spotlight out of the way and then that bit will just literally hook into the gutter here and then that flat dog it's got two holes already so it's just gonna have to drill just into these two parts here that'll feel like so there is also an additional little step it came with we've actually already got one so we probably won't need to use that little additional step there at the bottom but that's job for another day yeah but it's cool though other than that and obviously the awning all done up again packed away so yeah all ready for a bit of fun and camping for next year so looking forward to it okay guys so the roof rack is now fitted so again that was a flat dog roof rack that we've got fitted on there it wasn't too bad to fit in the end i think the only thing was it's definitely a two-man job just to help you get up and over onto the roof um all i'd suggest if you are going to fit it we just had a little bit of not trouble but just these bolts don't slide across very easily when you're attaching the arms onto it so just make sure your arms are in place first before you bolt everything down that's kind of standard common sense anyway uh whilst we were at it as well we fitted a new tough trek um awning to the back so that's all fitted too now that was the only awning that we could find that was 1.4 meters across the back because the setup we're going to have is a roof tent on top with a ladder going down the driver's side we've also got another additional side tent that's going to be attached this side which is similar setup to the awning it's going to be rolled up um, and in a cover on the side so that's why we've got an awning fixed to the back um, but yeah really really cool so the new roof tent should be turning up in january so about another six weeks that should be turning up and then i can get that fitted and i'll do a vlog on that too going out camping testing out the new tent but yeah so that is the defender all finished and ready to go for the new year so yeah super chuffed for that and obviously of course thanks to my dad as well for giving us a hand doing it so father daughter team getting out there um, if you haven't already please do like the video and subscribe to my cars and bras youtube channel and i will catch you guys very very soon so take care bye bye